Quick question here before we get into the the rapid fire uh, section, David. Um, you, you're talking and mentioning about how your goal is to give, 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 give. You're giving, giving, giving. And I'm wondering, you grew up with very little, right? Grew up poor. Do you feel like there's a correlation between that, between growing up with nothing and wanting to give back? Yeah. So it's interesting because it had to shift. I grew up with the philosophy, the more you give, the more you get. And I had to transition from the world of not enough to just enough, you know, not enough where everything happened to me as a victim to just enough where everything happened for me. I bought things I didn't need to impress people I didn't even like. But even moreover, I had to shift to this abundant world of more than enough. And one of the most interesting things about growing up with nothing that's a huge advantage is that if you believe money buys happiness and love, as I did, and you believe the more you give, the more you receive, it leaves all your options open. So it is a great positive that you're always, you're not as apt to be stuck into my mom wants me to be doctor, lawyer, or failure, or, you know, pressure to do because you're only looking to get out of that hole. Now, the interesting thing is through that process of growth, I learned that you it's not what I give to receive. It's a really unique shift. It's I receive. So everything I do is to receive because I'm worthy of everything I receive. I'm not. Uh, an imposter anymore. I am worthy of it. I focus 100% of my time on receiving to come through me with appreciation, meaning I add my gratitude. I find the light, the love, and the lessons, and I add my value to it through me to everything else. So free will is only used as a cleanser. Now, I'll explain this to you. Free will, like I am a, I mean, I'm a ferocious Buddha, meaning that nobody's more competitive, fierce, and, and persistent than me. I'm like a little train that could, you know, all the Rudy and Rockies and I'm that guy. But I use all of that free will instead of to get to my objective, to already know that it already exists. I use it to clean the connection, the interference, corrosion, void shortages and obstacles that I've created between me and everything, between me and the powerful source light and lessons and the abundance that I'm already connected to and allow it to come through me. Then I use that same fierce attitude to clean the connection between me and everyone else so that I don't see them as gatekeepers, as interference, as competitors, but a tree instead has no branches. I don't see one branch, someone else going to war against me. I don't have attacking thoughts, judgments, or conditions. And when I do, I'm in the practice of cleaning them out, knowing that I'm already connected through what I need to be connected through, from, through, and to everything I need. Wow, this, this is some deep, deep stuff. I'm probably gonna need to re-listen to this episode a few times to, to catch all this. But what it sounds like is a rising tide raises all ships, which is 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 really not the common thought when it comes to business. Everyone's a competitor. Um, so I, I, I love that. I love that. Of course, you can find out a lot more at dmelter.com slash training. Go check out everything Dave's doing. Also great YouTube channel as well. So make sure you check out David on YouTube. Uh, Dave, before I let you go, I got you for about 60 seconds here. Let me ask you something. If you woke up in the morning, there was only one business task you could do for the day. What would you do? Give to others. So I do good deeds. I always say, be kind to your future self. Do good deeds. If you're sitting at home during COVID, during this pandemic, and you have uncertainty, which always exists, great accelerated change, and you're depressed, anxious, frustrated, even suicidal. Look, if you're suicidal, go seek professional help. But I'll tell you one thing that helps everybody. If you can do one thing, start focusing on what good you can do. Go pick up trash. Go put the carts back at the grocery store. Go help somebody else. You'll immediately clear that interference that I'm talking about, not just between you and the other people you're helping, but between you and the truth, you and your potential. And I promise you, with that unbelievable power that you're connected to, that light, that love and lessons that always exist. Remember, pain is not a stop sign. Mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, financial pain that you may be in is not here to stop you. It's a turn signal. It's an indicator that you have something to learn. So get excited about learning it. Let it push you in a better direction to a better situation to make your life better, happier, more abundant. You can make more money, help more people, and have more fun. Please, everybody, join me on Fridays. It's free. If you miss it, the replays are featured on Spotify. The playbook, it's on Entrepreneur Magazine, the Entrepreneur Media, featured there. Every platform, I am here to empower you, to empower others, to be happy, to make more money, help more people, and have more fun. We can do it with a side hustle. You can do it every single day. Thank you so much, Mark. I certainly appreciate this quick 20 minutes. David, it is my pleasure. Thanks for sharing the value. Have an awesome day.
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed this episode. I've got several other episodes right here for you. Smash one of these videos to make sure that you don't miss out on the tips, tools, and tactics of industry experts. Let's take that side hustle full time. Smash one of these links.